Israel's military has now recovered the bodies of six hostages in Gaza, including an Israeli American with ties here to Chicago. Christine Flores latest has the latest now from the newsroom. Good morning, Christine. Yeah, good morning, Sean. Families who feared time was running out to save their loved ones are now faced with this heartbreaking news. The six hostages were seized by the militants more than 10 months ago on October 7th. A statement from President Biden confirmed the discovery of six hostages who were held by Hamas in a tunnel under the city of Rafah. They also confirmed one of the hostages killed was 23-year-old Hirsch Goldberg Pollen, an Israeli-American who was among the hostages seized by militants at a music festival in southern Israel on October 7th. Goldberg Pollen had lost part of his arm in the attack. His parents, whose mother is from Chicago, issued a statement early Sunday morning saying in part, with broken hearts, the Goldberg Pollen family is devastated to announce the death of their beloved son and brother, Hirsch. The family thanks you all for their love and support and asks for privacy at this time. His parents also gave an emotional address last month at the Democratic National Convention. This is a political convention. But needing our only son and all of the cherished hostages home is not a political issue. In a statement, President Biden said it is, a tr is as tragic as it is reprehensible. Make no mistake, Hamas leaders will pay for these crimes and we will keep working around the clock for a deal to secure the release of the remaining hostages. Now, Israel and Hamas have been meeting for months in Egypt to negotiate a ceasefire, but no significant progress has been made at this time. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Christine Flores, WG.